Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Ninja Fit. It's a 700 watt single serve blender. The fit measures about 13 inches tall and four inches across. The base alone is seven inches tall. The cord length is about 31 inches. It's compact and the base is a nice curvy shape to it. It comes with two cups that hold 16 ounces each. they are markings in milliliters and a max fill line, so don't fill above that. Comes with one blade and two lids if you want to take the cups to go. It comes with a user manual and 50 recipes for smoothies, infused teas and waters, breakfast, sauces, dressings and dips, easy meals and snacks. The cups, lids and the blade assembly are BPA free. When you first get the unit, wash the cups, lids and blade in warm soapy water. They're also dishwasher safe. The lids and blade should be put in the top rack of the dishwasher. To clean the base, just wipe it down with a damp cloth and dry. It's extremely simple to operate. There are no buttons. Put your ingredients in the cup, screw on the blade, put it in the base, push down and hold to blend and let go when you finish blending. First, I'll make a green smoothie. I'm using cucumber cut up, apple, Torn up kale leaves. You want to be careful not to go above the max fill line. A couple of ice cubes and some water. Screw the blade on. Place the cup in the base. Push the cup down to blend. When you load ingredients into the cup, follow the order in the recipe book. Put things like cucumbers and apples in first, then your leafy greens, liquid, and then ice on top. Instead of ice, if you're using frozen fruit, that would go in last. The blender works best if you follow that order. You can stop at any time by just letting go of the cup. Lift the cup straight up. If you want to try out this Ninja Fit, I've put a link in the description below. The kale, apple, cucumbers, everything is broken down. There is some greediness, of course, from the kale, and um, that is to be expected with a blender at this price. I processed it for under a minute, and this Ninja did a decent job on the green smoothie. Next, I'll make a smoothie with strawberries, frozen mango chunks, a little honey. For the liquid, you can use coconut water, or regular water. It's almost up to the max fill line. And just push down to blend. A lot of you are going to ask if it's loud, and it definitely is. Every ninja I've reviewed is loud. You can also pulse. Just push down, wait for the blades to stop, and then keep going. It's smooth, but it's not perfect. You can still taste some of the strawberry seeds. Next, I'll make a salsa, cut up tomato. This is one large tomato, onion, about a quarter of a small onion, a green chili, cilantro leaves, lime juice, and salt. So you see that that's the max that'll fit in this single serve Ninja. Pulse this a few times to get the consistency you want.
for just a few seconds and about four pulses. This looks pretty good. I like that the Ninja is compact. It's good for single servings when you don't want to pull out a big blender. It's simple to use since there are no buttons. It takes a little bit of force to push down on the container to blend. If you're used to the convenience of the one button push automatic cycle blenders, you're probably not going to like this Ninja. If you don't mind pushing down for a minute, it's a decent option for the price. Remember that this is an affordable personal blender. So if you already have a full size blender and just need a smaller one to make yourself smoothies and frozen drinks, then this Ninja would work. And you're not going to get the silky smooth consistency that you would get with a Vitamix, but you can't expect that at this price. If you want to try out this Ninja Fit, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time.